Sevilla, Angelica, Dulce, and Clelia ready for action. Playing against the Ryan King family, Cindy, Roberta, Vicky, and Julie. On your mark, let's start the family feud. Nice to be here. Thank you. What a nice looking audience. Yes. A lot of people have asked me why after eight years I I came back. I had to come back. I I left the dressing room lights on all the time I was <laughs> just got a bill for hundred and seventeen thousand dollars. So I'll be working for quite a few years, but this uh, uh if you didn't happen to be with us in the first half of the show, you missed sensational uh winning family and a great audience. They were awesome. I thank you, and I'm going to thank them. They're right here in the yard. You did a great job, Octavia. You really did. Thank you. You paid that old class money and won $2,500. Yeah, right. Let's meet everybody here. These are my three sisters-in-law, starting with Angelica, who's the nurse in the family. Yes, yes. And then Clelia, who's a second-year student at ASU. I like it. And then finally, Jules says he's a first year student at ASU. Give him a big welcome. <laughs> all from Arizona. All from Arizona and all flamenco oh. dancers. That's right. First half, we never got to flamenco. Right, right. We're all flamenco well, dancers. I want to try and get some of it in <laughs> if we can. We'd have to do it down there if we do it. On the... Do you have the right shoes, girl? You know, we can also do hand clapping, which is just palm and We can do that here. Can you do that here? Of course. Come on, just quickly. All right. just... <laughs> I didn't want them to stop. It was the coolest I've been all week. It was just a lovely breeze coming from the... I thank you. You're delightful. We wish you lots of luck to have you here. Family that we had on, I think, 81, were you on? Right. Brian King's here, my old pal. All right. Nice Rick, to Cindy, how you doing? Very good. We'll take a look. Can we see a picture of them when they were oh, with no. us? Well, you all look sensational now. You're there. Looks like the Partridge family, doesn't it? It's great, and I'm delighted, y'all. How much did you win? Thank you. Not very much. Well, $1,100. Well, that's, that's better than a kick in the head. Not a lot better, yes. but... <laughs> Let me meet everybody, Cindy, please. To my right is my very special mother, Mickey, a domestic goddess. Ah, uh, Mickey, welcome. Next to her is my sweet baby sister, a mother of two, and a flight attendant for a major barrier. Nice to see you. And on the end there is my sweet little cousin, Julie. She's a teacher. Okay, well, yeah. give me a big hand. Thank you for being with us. Thank you to win. Thank you. Oh, you know. Good to see you. Thanks for being a teacher. Make them feel at home right now. Come on. All right, let me tell you what we'll do. $5,000 in your bank. Oh, $5,000 in your bank. Oh, we'll play the bank roll game and get a chance to put a whole lot more. We'll play. Two people. Right here, Cindy. You know? Oh. You know, the bank roll are three questions that I ask you. They're worth certain amounts of money. Put it in the bank roll. You get to play to win the game. You win a whole lot more than 5000 There's only one answer. We're looking for the most popular answer. First question is worth $1,000. Here's the question. Tell me a word that you associate with the IRS. Yes. Taxes. Action! You got it. A thousand dollars. Now you're playing for six thousand. Second question is worth three thousand dollars. Here it is. Name a man in history you would have liked to have met. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln. Honest Abe. Oh. Oh. Way to do it. I'm playing for nine thousand here. Question is worth five thousand dollars. Bankroll question. There's one hundred people this. They gave we're looking for the most popular answer. This is the question. Name the dirtiest appliance in your kitchen. 
Yeah. Oven. Oven! I want you to stop. They're going to play for ten. They'll play for nine. How do they play for it? They got to win the few. What do we got right after this? Don't just wish for healthy, shiny hair. Go out and get it. Blow drying gave me split ends, so I did something about it. With the special pro vitamins in Pantene Pro V shampoo and treatment conditioner, they penetrate deep down, improving hair all the way to the tips. Pantene Pro V for hair so healthy it shines. It'll happen. Promise. When it's cold outside, there's nothing like getting underneath a Sunbeam automatic blanket. Not only is it a great way to stay warm and toasty, but a Sunbeam blanket saves money because it heats you and not the whole house. So give someone you care about a Sunbeam automatic blanket, because everybody deserves a little warmth this time of year. Now it goes. 300 points. Whoever wins that will play for fast money. Uh, 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something that two women might want to trade for a week. Yeah. Cars. Cars, said Cindy. Yeah. Husbands. Husbands. Call me old-fashioned. <laughs> uh, women might want to train. <clears throat> Jobs. Jobs. Oh, good yeah. one. Very good, very good. Right. Jobs. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say children. Oh, oh, you got it! Children. Doubled. 100 people serving. Five answers on the board. Here's the question. What would you do if you were a dinner guest in someone's home and you saw a mouse scamper across the floor? Yeah. Tell the guest. Tell the uh, owner oh. of the house. Tell the host. One answer. Was he better Green. than that? Green. Mickey said... Yeah. You're a dinner guest in someone's home, and you see a, a mouse scamper across the uh, floor. Tell the 
Don't sit fumigate the house. <laughs> You're not looking for a lot of return engagements as a guest, are you? Uh, I don't think so. You know, I swear this is true. I was in a bar in Chicago once, a hamburger place. We were all eating. I saw a man come in, pouring the rain, and he put his hand in his pocket. He brought out a gun, then he put it back. But I saw him. I said to the people who I was with, there's a man over there. But it locked. There's a gun. The woman said, A gun? <laughs> I got out of there in about three seconds. <laughs> a gun? <laughs> All right. You're going to say, uh, Tell them to fumigate the place, yeah. right? All right. You yeah. Magato! <laughs> no. They don't want you to be so rude. Not say anything at all. Just ignore it. You would just. Good job. Good job. You wouldn't say anything about I like the gray moving rug you have. In. I might. I not, might mention that. Not a word would we say. No, boy. Yeah. Who has his luck? Only one strike. You're a dinner guest. You see a uh, little mouse scamp across the floor. I would try to catch it myself without saying Oh, would you? The host. Without yes. saying it? Yes. <laughs> you would not tell the host. Where were you during soup? Oh, I... I was just hunting. Try to catch it! No! Two strike. What are you going to do about it? Kill it. Yeah? Kill it. Kill it. Say, all right, if not third strike, kill it! Oh! Come on, lady! Yeah. 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 Get on the board here. What, Julie? Buy a mouse truck. Please. No, please. 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 I'm please. please. Okay. I'm going to say, leave. You're going to depart? Leave. If you leave the dinner party and it's there, you'll get all those points. It's not a big leave. Leave! Get up. I heard Mom say that. Five. Laugh and joke. Oh, sure. 262. Nothing. Let's go. Come on. Get on the board for you. Uh, the point value's tripled. Here we go. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Tell me a way a person might become rich. Yes. Stock market. The market. Okay. One answer will be. Uh, win the lottery. The lottery? Repeat the question, please. I just read it to you, don't I? Okay. Person, why a person might become rich? Um, inherit. Huh? You inherit. Inherit. Inherit? Big, big time here. No strike. Two answers left. I'm going to say work hard. Person? <laughs> Takes the edge off of it, but work hard! <laughs> uh, good deed never goes unpunished. Yes, I'm going to say other investments that included in the stock market. Investing. Yeah. The way a person might become rich. Second strike. Um, I'm gonna say gambling. Say it. Gambling. Yes! Good! Good! Yes. Yes. There you got it. If not third strike. Gambling! Uh, not there. Come on, we can get on the board. Yeah, feel it. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> feel it. Tell me a way a person might know. become rich. We're gonna say feel it. Steal it. Steal it. You can steal it. If not, you'll play for the big money. Steal it! I swear, I don't know. Five. Right, oil. And carry a big stick. 
but sorry you didn't do it this time. But I hope you had fun. Good to arrange you gracefully. Who will? Ray, come on. Let's go. These flamenco dancers are never on time. We'll be back to play for Danny Brand. Right after this. Ray. Welcome to the new Price is Right. This could be good. Where a little strategy. She's made $3,500 in Blink One decided that's where her future is. A little luck. It is up to you to break this streak. I'm ready. And some big surprises. Stand here like this, shut your eyes. Can take you farther. We had to come a long way. We came a long way down. Than you could ever imagine. Am I dreaming? Dreams really do come true. All this week on the new Price is Right. Tonight at 730 on Channel 2. There's only one, two. Well done. Larry is with me and our little Octavia, sister-in-law, Octavia, the big plastic baggie, <laughs> and Harris. We're going to play for ten thousand dollars. If you win, I want you to promise me you'll all do a little ratatat, you know, flamenco it's on the hard floor over there. Okay. Well, that'll give her a little something to shoot for. Ten grand nowadays. Is nothing. I'll ask you five questions, Angel. Do the best you just right up there. Give me uh, 20 seconds on the clock, please. Time will start when I finish reading the first question. Good luck. Tell me the age you became interested in the opposite sex. Thirteen. Something specific that comes in a barrel. A beer. Which month has the most beautiful weather? November. Something chocolate flavored. Uh, chocolate bar. An effective way to wake someone up. Jump on them. Turn around. <laughs> All right. The age you became interested in the opposite sex, you said 13, when you first sort of became aware of boys, right? Everybody said 23. Something <laughs> specific that comes in a barrel, you said. Here, survey said. Which month has the most beautiful weather? You said. Survey said. Oh. Well, you know, that's the month I was born. I think that's a great month. It's usually a little snow. Well, I was going to say December. I was going to say it's kind of cold. Well, I've got, <laughs> got news for you. Neither one of them are any good. Uh, something chocolate flavored, you said. Chocolate bar, survey said. Sixteen. Effective way to wake someone up. I would say this <laughs> would be an effective way. You jump on them. Not from a height, is it? Just, no, just jump on them. Just this, what we call jump. a standing jump. Everybody's dead. Oh, not there. Fifty-nine. But it can be done. Do not worry. Here comes our favorite sister-in-law, Celia. You can do it. I have great faith in you. Okay, the answer is if you do, you hear this. And I'll say try again. And give me another answer. We're going to do it, aren't we? Right. 25 seconds, please, on the clock. Time will start when I finish reading the very first question. Tell me the age you first became interested in the opposite sex. Well. Name something specific that comes in a barrel. Uh, pass. Which month was the, has the most beautiful weather? April. Something chocolate flavored. Candy bar. Try again. Um, pass. An effective way to wake someone up. Shake them. Okay. Hold now. She's still got a bit of time, hasn't she? I can go back. All right. Uh, which was a, which one she passed? The second one. All right. Something specific that comes in a barrel. Um, beer. Try again. Molasses. Anyone who has the nerve to say it should get. <laughs> Give her molasses. All right? Turn around. No, it's okay. Well, they get... Tell the age you became interested in the opposite sex, you said? Well, survey said? Oh, right. right. Twelve and thirteen. They were the number one answer. So you did great there. You got eighty-two. Something specific that comes in a barrel. You said? Glasses. Survey said? Ah, that's why they were so glad to give it to you. <laughs> 
pickles. Never again. Well, neither would I, but that was it. Which month is the most beautiful weather, you said? April. Survey said? Ten. May, number one. I don't know what the big deal is, but uh, something chocolate flavor. Didn't you pass on that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ice cream. Of course, that's something new you may not have. Did you ever try? It's a <laughs> tingly cold. Bar, oh. <laughs> An effective way to wake someone up. You were great. You should shake them. If it's worth 108 points. <laughs> it's but there. It, it's number one. The survey said... Morning, Jill. We got one thirty four, five dollars for every point. Let's tell them how much we want when we return. Boom. You are wonderful. We thank you. Love you. See you here on the two. Some departing contestants will receive. Now introducing Old El Paso Cheese and Salsa, America's favorite salsa with real cheese. Old El Paso. Spice Island Quick Meals. Hearty, low-fat rice and pasta meals. Just add boiling water and they're ready in less than 10 minutes. Amazing Ready, Set, Go. It has a memory. Push the buttons and it does just what your child tells it to do. Ready, Set, Go from Buddy L. This is Gene Woods speaking for Family Feud. Mm -hmm. Mark Goodson, television production.